hey guys welcome back to my channel again yo i don't remember the last video i posted about my pregnancy guys but guess what who's a new mom in town me oh my god guys i am blessed with a beautiful son his name is royce jabari royce was given by his dad and jabari was given by me and they both have the same meaning guys brave hair strong we have a, a he's gonna be a king right now he's a prince right right now he's a prince but yes we have a strong boy guys he's a beautiful son we are blessed guys he's an angel anyway what i want to share with you guys this is my first baby this is my first baby i want to share you my experience how it went guys my delivery went smooth so i want to share this story i want to let you guys know before i start telling you how my delivery went i want to tell you how my pregnancy was there were some things that i couldn't share online because i didn't want people to think too much or start asking me too many questions but now that everything is good i can go ahead and share with you guys so when i got pregnant guys i was uh <clears throat> uh i was uh 108 190 pounds guys 190 pounds so um um my first my first four months i gained weight like again like who more than 10 pounds guys i gained more than 10 pounds so after the doctor saw how my weight was going guys i got tested and it came that i had gestational diabetes so um I had to take classes like i had to take classes on how i was going to control it i had to stop they told me to stop taking sugar unless i can i can take sugar free like i could take sugar free stuff guys i had to change my diet like completely i did not change guys but it's good to follow like whatever the doctor tells you guys but i did not do it because i oh my god guys i love it's stupid right that's why i couldn't share this online that they telling people you know all that all that but i couldn't i didn't stop i kept going on with my diet but i was more active okay, i'm always active anyway i'm always active so um i had to test myself like three times a day to check my sugar actually my sugar was was was, was reading okay it was reading okay uh but i don't know why uh they say i had uh gestational diabetes guys so um what happened was i started drinking water with lemon guys water with lemon is good for you uh it really helped me guys uh because the doctor said since i had gestational diabetes i was going to gain a lot of weight they said i might end up gaining like over 250 pounds like i was gonna reach 250 the way my weight was climbing but so i started drinking lemon water guys i started drinking lemon water so when i reached to 105 205 i'm gonna share you guys my pounds so you can you guys can see how my weight was climbing uh, i was uh like uh, five months pregnant guys and then from there i was drinking water i was active i was going to work um thank god guys every time i i had to go see the doctor almost every week because of my situation they had to check my weight every week they had to check the baby every week so something funny my weight stopped like i was not gaining weight when i started drinking the lemon water so my weight was not climbing guys but the baby's growth was going well it was healthy i was okay i never had uh, any complications guys which i'm happy guys i'm thankful so um so oh, i had to go see the doctor almost every week every week when i was getting closer to my delivery dates guys i started going like twice a week guys even three times a week but every time they kept checking everything was good the baby was fine i was fine so uh when i reached to 37 weeks guys 37 weeks for my my last appointment uh the doctor checked me and she saw that i was uh, two centimeters dilated guys dilated however I, I don't know how you say it but yeah i was two centimeters so she was like in a week we're gonna induce you i was like okay because some people say when you get induced at least you know the time the date 
and then the doctor the, doc, the doctors will be ready for you so you to yourself you can get you ready yourself you know i'm going this day so i was i thought i liked the idea so when i came home i told my friends my family and they were like no why are you getting into this because your due date is on my due date was supposed to be on april 6th so they were like no call them back and cancel i'm like no for me i thought it was okay so they said no getting induced is is good to let the baby grow let the baby come when the baby's ready so i was like mm, i never called but because i wanted to get uh i don't know but I, and yeah i never called so um i was supposed to have my hair done i was supposed to get ready a lot of things you can see look at my hair guys my hair is not done and i don't know when i'm gonna uh, is when he's gonna get it done by that's okay but anyway so um on uh on when 20 22nd guys on 22nd i was i was still okay i was going to work on 22nd i was at work and i said from now i'm gonna start like using this i usually don't use the stairs i use stairs stairs in my house because i have a lot of stairs but to work i usually don't use the stairs but that day i was like from today on 22nd till my induced day i'm gonna start using the stairs do exercise because they said the more you do exercise your delivery is gonna be easier maybe i'm not even gonna need to get in deer so that night i did some exercise so on 23rd early in the morning guys i was around 5 around 5 a.m guys i went i was going to use the bathroom and i felt like something was running i was, I was like oh am i leaking did i just pee in my pants but i was like Mm, okay i just went i went i went i went and used the bathroom and came back and i wiped the floor i was like mm. i came downstairs because my man was downstairs and i told him um i don't know if my water just broke but you know and he was like okay you're not gonna go to work today because he always keeps telling me you need to stop going to work i'm like no i wanted to keep myself busy like i don't like sitting home so i'm like no i'm gonna go to work so i felt like i was getting annoyed so i called my friend and i told her i think my water my friend linda I, I told her i don't know if my water just broke uh, and she was like y'all i'm what i want you to do go to emergency call me when you are in emergency and then and then we can talk so i, I went to him uh, i told my boyfriend okay we have to go to emergency because linda just said we should go to emergency and my boyfriend was like yeah let's go let's go i'm like no i have to take a shower he's like no let's go no i had a shower the night before and this morning i just you know i just peed on so i had to take a shower i took a shower i dressed up i put everything ready just in case you never know and then we went to emergency so when we got there they were like oh how many weeks are you i said i was 38 and then they were like uh, okay they put me on a wheelchair i was like why are you guys putting me on a wheelchair because i'm fine but yeah they put me on a wheelchair and then they transferred me to um to another label guys they checked me and then they said yeah your water just broke <gasps> oh my god i was like why so I'm, I'm about to see my baby they were like yeah um for me i really didn't want to have any pain but then i was started feeling some cramps i'm like oh, okay it's not too much guys it was just coming and go coming and go uh but i was supposed to get epidural but they had to do tests on me they had to make sure that my body can take it so um they took blood and they, they sent it to the pharmacy to get tested um while we were waiting for the results to come back for them to put the epidural um they took those results took like an hour so the pain was still coming and go coming and go till i called the nurse i was like oh uh, was the pain wasn't that bad actually but i was scared what if the baby start coming so quick what am i gonna do so i called the nurse and the nurse was like the results the results are not here yet we cannot do it till the results get here. i'm like why can't you guys call so they called actually and the pharmacy was like yeah the results have been ready They've been ready but how come they never send them but anyway so they sent them and they said everything was good so they had to do the epidural immediately they called the doctor and they pulled the epidural guys and after a few seconds uh, uh everything disappeared guys i was like they're chilling as you can see my friend came and started talking making videos taking pictures we were just there chilling guys which we were chilling for like an hour and then the doctor came to check how much i've you know dilated and then when the doctor checked he was like what it was a, it was i remember it was a male doctor and he was like you are nine centimeters you it seems like you're ready to push but i wasn't ready to push guys so the doctor left and then when the doctor left we waited we waited for some 
time just enjoying chilling uh and my friend left she had to leave and i was left with my men and another doctor came a different doctor came and she checked like oh my god your the baby's head is out here you ready you ready to push i'm like oh we want us to give you more time i said they give me option i'm like yeah give me more time <laughs> give me more time and then you guys can come later you said the head is almost out and your baby has a lot of hair guys that's what the doctor says the baby has a lot of hair uh so i told her yeah you can come back later and then after another hour they came back they're like okay are you ready to push are you ready to push i was like yes yeah. so so i started they put everything ready guys ready for me to you know uh huh so uh they put everything ready and then he told me to start pushing so i went round one guys round one i pushed they told me to breathe in and then oh so i did round one and the round one they're like the baby's here the baby is just just you could just push push so and then the baby didn't come round one and then round two they're like okay go ahead breathe in again and then and then i did it guys again and then they're like the baby's just right there you just push just push so the second round the baby did not come out and the third time guys it said the baby's out just push one strong and then i did it and then oh my god the baby came out ah, i didn't feel any pain the baby came out crying and then they put on my oh my on my chest guys it was a little thing stinking oh my god i felt so you guys i don't know i don't know how to explain how i felt guys i don't know how i felt so my baby was born on third on on march 23rd guys 2023 so my on 3 23 23 yes his name is i already told you guys his name is race jabari jabari means brave royce means brave guys yeah so my delivery guy was really like was beautiful i wish i was able to record it but when it was time for pushing there was nobody was going to record me because my man was helping me to hold me was holding holding yeah so yeah that was a beautiful delivery guys and i can't wait to share more videos of me and my baby uh growing together guys it's a new experience like so many things sometimes i have to call my mom i'm like mom what am i supposed to do here mom my mom she has been actually really helping me she's fast she's all the way in africa but uh, she's the one i use and i have amazing friends i call like edna guys linda i have so many amazing friends who i usually call and then they help me because they already have kids so yeah um that was how my how it went that's how it went guys so make sure you subscribe to my channel guys share this video guys and see you next time so cheers bye